Steve here from Tech Toy Tinker and Retro Arena. Today I'm going to be doing a video with the AN Neo Air Plus. In particular, the Alder Lake Core i3 1215U. My version is 512 gigabytes of storage and uh, 16 gigabytes of RAM. I will be doing a, a video using Ubuntu, obviously, as I work on that. But I wanted to start off showing you guys kind of how Windows looked and what it ran like. First thing we're going to do is we're going to jump into the Windows version of Emulation Station I've got packaged here, just to give you guys an overview. This can be used as the front end, as always, so you don't really have to see Windows if you don't want to. You just have to load everything up at once, and then it's all good to go. Play the games you want, wherever you are. How do you want it? Some people will do anything to take their favorite video game. This is the system chosen two to one. It came from the... Have you experienced the awesome... I never found out why he chose... Introducing Artiboy, a game system. Sorry, anonymous. My son Boris. This is an arcade game. This. In 1986, we also. When it comes to home. To match the higher intelligence of the new Commodore. IBM calls this a personal computer. This is the day you have trained for. The day you have studied more, utilize your superior skills. The one with all the fun. They said it wasn't humanly possible. All the power and excitement of Nintendo right in the palm of your hand. Introducing Game Boy. It's portable. It's in stereo. <laughs> Obviously, it runs GameCube well, but I'll give you guys a show anyway. You get the point, it runs fine.
Not sure why Mario Kart had no audio. Must be a bad disc dump. Gonna have to do it again. Stern in on an earth, a sun. Hey everybody, welcome back to Video Game. Now test. <laughs> Say you're watching TV. I think one of the big bonuses of this device in particular for me is that it has a lot better battery life versus the the more higher end chipsets. Like I've had it running for about five and a half hours and it was only at 35, 38%. Granted, it depends what you're playing, but because you shouldn't run this over 15 watts, it's going to take a lot less power than running 25, 28. The secret new, new life. Now, I found that Switch on here is a mixed bag. More demanding games like Luigi's Mansion, not so great. Some of the lesser demanding titles work perfectly fine, so you kind of have to try it and find out, sort of deal. Stuff like Mario Odyssey is a bit laggy, but you can lower the rendering resolution and do some tips that will help you. I'll just leave it so you can see the FPS. Notice my scale is at 0.75. It looks fine on the small screen. 0.5 is really pushing it though. I wouldn't go down that low if you can avoid it.
37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 30. <sighs> Two minutes, 41 seconds. My longest yet. Yuna, it's time! Coming! <sighs> You're diving like a real pro, yeah? <laughs> you will always be the pro, Waka. I don't know. It's been so long since I trained. <laughs> you have gotten a little chubby. <laughs> oh, 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 no. And you're not even the one having the baby. Oh. been two years. I'll do a couple more just so you get a more complete idea of where its shortcomings are. You can kind of see what I mean there. It plays, but it has a little bit of intermittent slowdown here and there. Would I say that it's unplayable? No, but you're going to have to tolerate, you know, like I said right there, a little bit of slowdown intermittently.
you kind of get the idea there. Games like Luigi's Mansion, Mario Odyssey will work, but they'll be a bit stuttery here and there. Games like Mario 3D World, a lot of the earlier, or not earlier, but easier to run stuff will run fine. Like I said, just kind of dump your collection, try it out, and see how your mileage varies per game. I'm going to do away with Emulation Station for now and just directly launch things. One of the features here that I really like is uh, that Duck Station runs quite well. And not only does it run, but you can run your games at 1080p as well. You get the idea. It looks really good with the uh, 1080p.
Huh, doesn't want to load that game, it seems. Action! Fire! You get the idea. The gods of Olympus have abandoned me. Now there is no hope. And Kratos cast himself from the highest mountain in all of Greece. After ten years of suffering, ten years of endless nightmares, it would finally come to an end. Death would be his escape from madness. But it had not always been this way. Kratos had once been a champion of the gods. Wanted to show you guys PS2 quickly.
I went for God of War because it uh, it's one of the harder games to run. I don't want to keep you guys here forever. Audio options, video. Main menu. Audio options, video. Main menu. My collection. Single player and hot seat. You get the idea either way. To launch your Windows games from Emulation Station, they go into the ROMs Windows folder. No, you didn't burn your toast. That's the smell of Nuked London still smoking in the background. We are at Fumbly Stadium, of course. Remember, in the NFL, we encourage you to play with your food. The Nuked have won the alien and now receive the kickoff. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitzrow with you on MFL Game Day. Hey, uh, Bricks, do you smell something burning? Ah, thanks for reminding me. I left my rubber foot in the toast trap and then warm it up. Last time I left it there too long, it came out like Saganaki. Opa! Uh -huh. It's freezing in here. Hey, why don't you take your shampoo and ouzo? Stick your head in the toaster oven. That'll warm you up. And it's first and ten. And that one's incomplete. The receiver couldn't get there. And neither could his mother. Second down and ten. The receiver has to make that catch. Now he put the team in a hole. Third down and ten. Oh, sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him. Not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. Again, you get the idea. I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up there. If there's anything you guys want to see tested, just let me know and I'll give it a shot and let you know how it works out. All in all, though, I think that combined with the, the decent battery life, the lightweight feeling of this device, combined with the 
reasonable amount of power. You know, it's not going to do anything crazy. It's not going to play AAA titles at at great specs or anything like that. But as long as it's kept within a few hundred dollar price range, I feel that you're getting a reasonable value for your money. Also, I will be making Ubuntu bootable off of the SD card as well, so you can dual boot this just by popping the SD card in or out. As always, though, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hope you enjoyed the video. Take care.